Hello and welcome to Oliva's channel. The secret to better cooking could lie in your oven settings. And also the symbols may look different depending on the brand. Most oven will have similar settings. In this video I will explain the oven settings and which settings to use when. I will go through the advantages and disadvantages of each setting and give you recommendations. Also which one is more suitable for which recipes. Let's begin by conventional oven cooking, top and bottom heat. The two bars indicate that the heat is generated from both the top and the bottom of the oven. The heat is generated by heating rods or heating elements within the oven, on the top and bottom. In most ovens, the upper heating rod is visible, while the lower one is not. With the bottom heat, the heat comes from heating elements in the bottom of the oven, hidden in order to protect it or protect them from falling ingredients. Due to the even heat distribution and the lack of air circulation, the setting is particularly suitable for juicy meat dishes. Even delicate baked goods such as cheesecake or souffle that should not dry out. Make sure you only have one baking tray in the oven for this application. Otherwise, the temperature cannot be evenly distributed in the cooking space. Preheating is required with the setting. It takes time to heat up the rods to the right temperature. Then more time for the heat to be transferred to the other areas of the oven. Since most dishes require even heating in the oven, preheating is required. The pros are the baked goods and meat remain juicy. Cons are preheating is usually required. Only one baking tray can be used and higher power consumption due to higher temperatures at the top and bottom. This setting is suitable for the following recipes. Baking, pizza duff becomes particularly crispy with the bottom heat. Juicy meat dishes, cheesecake or souffle, or other cakes that should not dry. Pan oven. A fan in a circle represents an oven that uses a fan to distribute heat generated from the rods at the top and bottom. Ideally, the heat distribution should be even, so that it doesn't matter where the food is placed in the oven. It cooks perfectly every time. This is particularly helpful when several dishes are to be prepared on different baking trays. The hot circulating air removes moisture from the dishes, so it is perfect for dishes that have a lot of moisture. Very useful if you want to dry fries, cookies, pizza with a moist topping. This allows you to work at about 20 degrees Celsius, less temperature than specified in the recipe. Example, 180 degrees top and bottom heat correspond to 160 degrees with circulating air. 200 degrees top and bottom heat correspond to 180 degrees circulating air. Now the pros and cons. The setting is economical due to lower heat temperature and lower power consumption. It is suitable for several sheets at the same time. No preheating is necessary and required. Even cooking within the oven. Quicker and faster if you have less time. The cons are the roast and baked goods will dry out easily. Fan forced. The difference between fan oven and fan forced is that with fan oven, the top and bottom heat is circulated around. With fan forced, an additional heater heats the air and blows it directly into the cooking space. The heat generated from a circular element that surrounds the fan. The fan distributes hot air direct and is not dependent on top and bottom. The oven heats up quickly, preheating is not necessary. This enables a more even cooking process, less cooking time and lower power consumption. But be careful, hot air has a stronger drying effect, so always keep an eye on your dish. Now the pros and cons. This is again economical, have lower power consumption, suitable for several sheets at the same time. No preheating is necessary, even cooking within the oven. It's quicker and faster if you have less time. The cons are again, roast and baked goods dry out easily. The grill setting. Even on a rainy day, you can grill your sausage with your baking oven. A zigzag or jack line above represents the grill function in this operating mode. A very high level of heat is produced from above. The temperature is significantly higher than with a simple top heat and comes closer to that of a normal garden grill. This makes heat dishes deliciously crispy and smoky aromatic, perfect for browning the meat and the Maillard reaction. Preheating the oven is required and takes about 10 minutes. Pan with grill. The combination of the fan and the grill settings works particularly like a rotisserie. Thanks to the distribution of heat, roast ducks and chicken are heated evenly on all sides and baked crisp. The fan distributes the heat while the grill roasts from the top. Those are some other settings most ovens have, depending on the manufacturer and the country you live in. I will go quickly through them. Lower heat only. Here the heat comes only from the lower heating element. Upper heat only. Here the heat comes only from the upper heating element. Oven defrosting, this is self-explained that defrosts the oven. Plate warming, this is useful when keeping multiple dishes warm for a party. The setting keeps your plate safely warm. I hope you learned something new and found this video helpful. If yes, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Watch other videos from my channel that you might also like. Thanks for watching.